Hey everybody, it's Dim Sims here, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to get your teen sims pregnant. But you know, before I start that, I actually would like y'all to visit my series. It's called Better Days. I'm new sim series, and I hope you like it. So watch it before or after this video, and make some comments and suggestions that you'd like to see in the show. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go on with this tutorial. So actually, to get the teens to get pregnant, you're going to need a mods folder. Um, and I'm going to show you briefly how to get that mods folder. So the mods folder is actually going to go in your documents and you're going to hit electronic arts. You're going to hit the Sims 3 folder and right in here you'll see the word mods. We're going to actually put this folder into our game, into the game. So we have the overrides packet, overrides packages and resource.cfg. So I'm going to show you how to actually get this. So the I'm going to put each link in the description. So right here. We're going to go to mods to sims, that info, and what we're going to do is actually scroll down, and we're going to hit download. I'm actually going to show you the process so that you won't, you know, think of viruses or nothing. So, right now we have the framework. I know it says set up nine, just because that's how many times I clicked on it. Um, So, here's the mods folder, and what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to have the packages, whatever. So, we're going to, I'm going to start back over to show you how we're going to actually get there. So we're going to go to documents and we're going to hit electronic arts, push the Sims 3. And then all I'm going to do is move this over into there. So then necessarily I have, should have two mods folders, which I don't because I don't want to do that because I already have a mods folder. So there we go there. So now that you have your actual mods folder, I'm actually going to pull up on what it should be inside. So when you click there, you should have these packages. It says you have no build up sparkles and no intro. No build up sparkles is actually when when you're building a house or whatever and the little sparkles when you make the wall show up. I mean, it's pointless, but keep it in there. And the no intro actually helps your game speed up faster so you don't have to watch that intro video every time. So these are really good mods to put in there. So let's go ahead and get that teen pregnancy mod, shall we? Um, I'm going to show you that I have a lot of packages in here. So, And I have these two in there. If I can actually find it, it's probably off of the Dakota. Like, here's the no intro and the no build sparkles. So I actually still have it in there in terms of all my mods. So... Let's go ahead and get that other mod in there so that you can get the teens pregnant. So the mod that we're going to need is the Pregnancy Progressor Controller. It's by Cmart and C. Um, this will actually get all your Sims pregnant, actually, except for the children. You can actually get men pregnant, and you can have either you know random Sims getting them pregnant, or the Sims in your home getting the male or female Sims pregnant, even the teens and the elders. Um. And I'm actually going to show you in the game how this actually works. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually make a account for Mod The Sims. I'm sorry, that popped up. You're going to have to make an account for Mod The Sims. I'm already logged in, um, so basically I don't want to really log out. So when you make an account, it's free, no viral thing or download crazy things will pop up when you make the account. So once you get the account, what we're going to do is hit Files. And then we're going to scroll down, and under there, we're going to actually getting the most updated version, which will be right here. It is the V5 um, pregnancy controller. Actually, it actually states under the description. I love how they give descriptions and how to install because, you know, you should read things before you download. This gives you um, the compatibilities um, if you're download it to the nearest version patch of your game so what we're going to actually do is go back to the v controller under the files and we're going to hit v5 um zip if you don't have the converted files you can use the other ones it's just i'm just using the one that's already already available and as you can see that the file package just opened up magically i know that some people may not have um a way to extract files. I have WinWar. I use I used to have 7 zip. I like WinWar better. Um Microsoft already has a 7 zip extractor. You can use both or you can use WinWar if you do have it. And what we're going to do is it's actually we're going to take this file 
and we're going to put this in our mods folder. So what we're going to do is, this is not the one. Okay. So like I show you how I have my packages, I'm going to start this all over again, you guys, so that you can actually see what's going on. So we're going to go to Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3 folder. We're going to hit Mods. And what we're going to do is hit the packages. Do not delete overrides and do not delete resource.cmg or this will not work. All right. So what you're going to do now is that you can either copy and paste or you can just drag this bad boy over to that folder and you're going to have it locked and loaded. All right. So now that you actually have that here. So, yes, it's awesome that you have the mod to get your teen sim pregnant. But here's the one problem. The game does not allow teen sims to get pregnant. And so what ends up happening is, is that as you can see in this image right here, this is probably a teen sim. This is just a picture. What happens is that she, when she becomes pregnant, the only thing you're going to be able to see is her freaking head. That's it. That's all you're going to see. And the only outfit that you can change to is the bathing suit. And she can't go to school with a bathing suit or rock around the street with just a head on. So what we're going to actually do, I'm going to show you where you can get some clothes so that your teen doesn't look so weird. So I, I like the Sims resources. I love this one because you can actually just click on it and it just downloads right to your game. And you see, you just type in um, through Google, um, through the Sims resource. I'm actually going to put this link in the description so you can actually get these clothes. But these are just maternity clothes for the Sims. And I'm going to show you that this outfit is actually in my game. So when you click it, um, it's by Devalicious6. Thanks, Devalicious. I don't know who you are, but <laughs> what you're going to do after it loads up, you're going to push download. So now the download thing is up. You're going to just push download. And I don't have the 350 did not have to wait 10 seconds. But um, once the 10 seconds loads up, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So it's just finished download. So it just finished downloading. So the only thing you have to do is double click on this. And it should um, make a little icon. And it's going to download straight into the game. The other resource I have is Fun Mod the Sims. It's called the Teenage Female Maternity Wear. This gives outfits for your Sims and such so that she won't have just a head. And all you have to do is hit the files again. And all you have to do is actually find which ones you want to pick out. I use the maternity separates. And all I do is just click it. And once that zip file comes up again, all I have to do is put it, it in the package files again once it loads up. It doesn't matter which one you actually choose um, to download. I'm actually going to choose the separates and I'm, it's going to come up in a zip folder. And what's going to happen is after it comes into a zip folder, it's going to pop up and it's going to give me like the shirts, the pants or whatever. And all I do is take these and put those these packages files into the mods package file and it runs smoothly. So I think we're kind of ready to actually see what happens and how to get the teen sim pregnant. Okay you guys, so I have the game already locked and loaded and recorded um, up ready for you guys. I just have the late night expansion. Um, I like the late night um, expansion because you can actually um, edit your sims through create a sim and while you're in the game. So what we're going to do is what is her name? Okay, her name is Emily Kane. Let's zoom into Emily real quick. All right, hey Emily, how are you, Emily? Emily seems like really excited, you guys. So <laughs> she's gonna get a rude awakening. So now what we're gonna do is actually click on Emily, and we're gonna hit pregnancy options because it's already in our game, and then we're gonna get Emily Kane pregnant. Oh my God! So it says Emily Kane is now pregnant. Now, Emily already has a, preg a baby now, but we can do more things. So, what we're going to do is actually hit the pregnancy option now. Now that she's pregnant, we can end the pregnancy. It's not going to make her like have a miscarriage or anything. It's just going to say she doesn't have the baby. You can start labor now. You can set the sex of the baby. We can set the progress so we can make her like 90% pregnant. And we're going to actually show you all this. So, now she's like really nauseous. And so, now she's like 90% pregnant. And she's in the pregnancy clothes, as you see. So, actually, what we're going to do now is click on her again. Hit pregnancy options. 
and we can actually start labor. Well, except for sex of the baby. Except for sex of the baby. Except that she has a male this time because she has a girl already. And so now we're going to do pregnancy options. We're going to start labor now. Now, when you start labor now, she has to be in the house. She cannot go to the hospital. As much as you say you can go to the hospital, the game doesn't have it set up for her to go to the hospital. Sorry about that. So she has to have it in the house. If you think she has it on the street or she has it in school, you're going to have to restart it because it's not going to work. She has to have it in the house. Emily really wants this baby to come out. I mean, I feel really, really bad for her because, like, I just need her pregnant for no apparent reason. But, like I said, you can make the guy's sons pregnant, and actually you can take whoever sin that you want to control her to see um, who her child's father or mother is. Um, let's see. You can't really do anything until she has the baby, so I'm going to speed up the game. So you get this process going, and the baby pops up. Come on, Emily, you can do it. <laughs> this is so horrible. She's all by herself, too. Makes matters worse. And here he comes, you guys. She had a boy. I'm going to name it. She said he has the good trait of <laughs> good in a couch potato. I'm going to call him Grub. I don't know why, but that's the baby's name. And now she has the little boy. Where is he at? Is he going to come in her hands? <gasps> oh, my God. I did it. I made life. So I hope you enjoy. And look at the baby Grub King now. And I hope you enjoy making the Tim Sims, Teen Sims pregnant. Thanks, you guys.